Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiff with Journal with Tiff and today I wanted to review uh, the pens that I had inked for the month of December. I had seven pens inked and I must say that this has probably been my most enjoyable month, um, meaning almost all of these pens I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, most months, um, the focused pens that I have, I reach for, you know, maybe one or two a lot. The rest I'm just trying to uh, kind of research. You know, I just want to see what matches well with what. Um, not that the writing experience with all of the pens aren't always good, but there was something about this month that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed almost every pen and you will find out which one if you don't already know um, from my previous video, which one probably was not a favorite of mine. So, okay, let's get into it. First pen that I had inked was my Pilot Custom 8 23 in the fine nib. Um, as you all know, if you've seen my previous videos, uh, this was the pen that I reached for the most this year. So it was deemed my favorite of the year for the year of 2023. I have it inked with Pilot uh, Roshizuku Tsukushi, and it's always inked with Tsukushi. Ever since I got this pen, I inked it with that. It matches so well, um, and I just really like that line of inks in this particular pen. I'm not sure if it's because it's a pilot ink with the pilot pen. I'm really not sure, but um, it it just wrote really well. I love the color matchup, and let's look at a writing sample. So here's where I'm transcribing a book, and as you can see, I was able to get um, almost two full pages, and this color, and I, I it really, the decor on, on these pages just kind of pulled in the color. It just really matched very well. Um, I can't say much more about that particular color and pen combination, but this will always, unless something happens to this pen, this will always be a favorite. Um, I will admit that I must uh, thank Simone. I think that's how you say her name. Um, because initially I had <clears throat> stated in a previous video that sometime when writing with this pen, I kind of feel like I have a hard start. Um, and it just, it kind of bothered me because when the few times I would have a hard start, I'm like, but it's just such a beautiful pen. It feels so good in my hand. It writes so well, just those few times. And she did um, suggest, hey, are you releasing the pressure because this is a vacuum feel uh, pen? And once I did that, I'm like, oh, how did I not know to do that? Um, so now anytime it does skip or have a hard stop, I always just check that and all is good with the world. Next is the Estabrook Esty in the Raven. I have this in an extra fine nib. Um, I love this black nib. Um, it feels so good. The writing experience was really good with this and I have it inked with Organic Studio um, Henry David Thoreau Walden Pond. And here, have a writing sample as well. And I'm not sure if I can pick up with this ink, the, um, it's, I think it's a bluish green ink with a red sheen. And I just, ooh, I love this ink. Now, the sheen literally can come off on your hands sometime. Um, here's another, let's see if I can get maybe on the letters of the words there. It looks really dark but it is a greenish blue with a heavy, heavy uh, red sheen. And it is just a gorgeous ink. And it is, it just, and because of the color, this matte black, 
with that particular ink, it just goes so well because as you know, I enjoy matching my pens and my inks. So love that combination, loved it. Next was my Twisby Eco in, uh, this is the Smoke with Rose Gold. And I had this ink with Hiroshizuku Yamabuda. I normally do not go for bright inks. I like uh, warm earth tones, but that is such a lovely ink. And as you can see, I almost wrote it dry. I've actually I got a little bit of uh, condensation moisture still in here, but I almost wrote it dry. It is such a festive color as well. Let's uh, look at a sample of that. And here, this is uh, my gratitude journal. And so I did want to cover up a little bit of what I was writing, but this is such a lovely, lovely color. And it was so festive. Um, this was just one page that I wrote and it just kind of reminded me of the pomegranate. So I had to pull the pomegranate sticker on here. Um, but again, here, just a lovely color. And I almost wanted to refill this for the next month. Um, I didn't. Um, because I kind of just want to try to enjoy a different ink, I think, but this was, it was just such a good writing experience. This is in the extra fine. And I realized that I do like, um, the extra fine nib on the Twisby, um, especially here in the ego. So nothing bad to say about this. The writing ex experience was great. The filling capacity is great. Um, my hands don't cramp. It's easy to hold. So always enjoy using this pen. The next pen is from Walltown Pens in Augusta Theater. This pen I've said before, just beautiful. And I love looking at it. It's like a fidget spinner. I just love looking at it. Um, I have this, extra, oh, this is an extra fine nib. And I have it inked with Diatramenta's Khaki. Um, and I must say that this was a dream. This is the color. This is the pen. I mean, I, I enjoyed this pairing. Um, and this is my writing sample from my transcription. Yeah, this is the writing sample from the transcription. And... Um, I did not have any hard stops. If you recall from a previous video, I initially, as soon as I was um, inking this pen when I first got it, I dropped it and had to get the nib replaced. And it was re replaced very quickly. Um, and it, it has a number six Yogo nib, I believe. Yes, a number six. And it... It's almost as if, I don't think they do any specific tuning at Walltown Pens, but it felt like it had been tuned. Um, so it was quite enjoyable. And I will say that this was my most reached for pen this month. Um, mainly because of how it felt um, in my hand, the size of it, um, the comfort level. Um, I did not experience any skipping. I thoroughly enjoyed the color match uh, that I chose for the ink. Um, the ink did very well in this, this nib. So this pen ink combination was great. And again, just the look of it. Because yes, sometimes I do go to a pen just because of the aesthetics. Because the way it looks. And I think uh, the amber colored finials. Uh, what I think it's called embers. That's the name of the pen. Augusta Theater with Embers. Um, it's just beautiful to hold, beautiful to write with, and beautiful to look at. So no complaints here. Next was my Estabrook Esty in Cobalt Blue. Um, of course, it's an Esty. So at least for me, when I say of course, this may not apply to everyone else. But for me, this is just a really... This brand is just very reliable, and um, I've never had an SD that I had a problem with. Um, so I had this ink. This is a fine nib, and I have 
I had this inked with Konpeki, Pilot Orochizuku Konpeki, as you can see here. Um, I did not have it inked with, it, it wasn't inked very much, um, simply because number one, I did not buy a bottle. Someone actually gifted me with a very small sample. Um, Konpeki is not a blue that I roll with very often. I normally might like uh, blue inks with more depth, um, maybe a little bit darker or just some other uniqueness other than blue. And I understand that Konpeki is just, you know, the cat's meow to some people, not necessarily for me. I will admit that um, I did try it in a few other pens and it seemed a little bit darker to p depending on the nib, I believe. But in this pen, it was meh, it was okay. And here is a writing sample. Um, yeah, I enjoyed how it wrote, um, but there, so there was no problem with the combination of the Orochizuku Konpeki ink in this pen. Um, I just have a problem with the color. So, sorry if you hear someone or something sniffing. Kobe, my little buddy, my little doggy, just walked in the room, so it's not me sniffing, it's him. Uh, but yeah, so I would say this is a twofold answer that the combination of pen and ink was great. I just was not that much a fan of the ink color. Next was my Pelican M800. It is in an extra fine nib. Um, I'm going to admit I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of the Pelican, uh, extra fine nib. It's not in my mind what I would call an extra fine. It's more of a Western. Honestly, I feel like this writes more like a Western fine. Um, I do like the finer nibs. Um, but this is one of the ones where the pen itself is just so pretty. It's so elegant. It's so classy. Um, I really love the size. Um, I do like the M800. I have a M400. Um, I don't think, no, I don't have an M600. I, um, the M800 is a really good size. I would love to try the M1000. Um, but anyway, I had this uh, head, this inked with Colorverse uh, Taipion Siong Day. I hope I am saying that right. If I am not, please feel free to correct me. Um, and this is kind of a muddy greenish brown with a little yellow undertone. Um, and let's see if we have a writing sample here. Oh yeah, and this is the brown black model. I meant to mention that. Um, as you can see, I, when I wrote this, I dropped my pen. <laughs> so I was so upset. Um, but it wrote well. I've said multiple times I've just yet to do it. I'm going to give myself a deadline to send this pen off to have it uh, ground um, so that the writing experience is a little bit more enjoyable for me. Um, the reason I said that I had this inked in uh, ty uh, Colorverse Type Young Sion Day is because I have already uh, cleaned it out and filled it with an ink for January. Spoiler alert. So yes, this will be a carryover that you will hear about soon. Um, but other than, um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain that it was not a bad writing experience. I just know that this nib could be better for me. Um, the color was fine. I enjoyed the color, but because I really like the pen so much, maybe it's due to the aesthetics. I don't know. Uh, but I literally can like a pen the way it looks better than the way it writes, and which can make me want to do everything I can to bring the writing experience up to the level of my aesthetic enjoyment aesthetic enjoyment if that makes sense please tell me guys if that makes sense to you because if it doesn't I would love to explain better um but this is a just a lovely pen I was able to write with it um without a problem no hard starts um 
the ink itself was a little dry. So having a wetter of a nib actually did help. The fact that this color verse, in my opinion, was a little bit more on the drier side. So yeah, I did enjoy it. And clearly I did because I'm gonna uh, carry this over into January just with a different ink and see what we think. And lastly, uh, the Ferris wheel press uh, brush pen in the fine nib. And guys, I tried. I did. I tried with this pen. Um, and it just breaks my heart because it is so pretty. It is so, it, it may look plain, but if you really take a good look at it, it is to me just a classic looking pen. And I just, I want to love it. Have you ever just wanted to love a pen? But it's just too, too narrow for me. I, I have a hard time. It even changes my handwriting. Um, so I didn't, the, because of the way I have to grip the pen, I think. Um, so I think I only used this pen once the entire month. Once. So I will say that I'm not happy with the pen solely because of the size. Um, other people will not have a problem with this. And I understand that it is this size because it is supposed to mimic a paintbrush. Hence the brush pen. Um, it's just not my jam. It's just not for me. Again, I wanted, I wanted to love it. That's why I wanted to continue to try it. But I finally got to the point where I'm like, just that one time I reached for it to try to, I didn't even get a full page writing sample with this. Um, I would reach for it and start writing and then just put it away. I'm like, no, we're, we're not going to do that. So this will be rehomed. Um, and I hate to say it because it's a lovely pen. And while I was writing with it, it wrote extremely well. It's just not comfortable for my hands. So yeah. So other than that, I have, I must admit that this was, pro other than uh, the Ferris wheel press, let's take this one out. Other than the brush pen, this was probably my most enjoyable month meaning I did not have a problem, serious problem with any of these pens other than that. Um, and as a matter of fact, I kind of am considering carrying maybe a few of these others over into January. Not to say that I won't be inking others in January, but I just did not feel like I had, it was so much going on in the month. My favorite season is autumn. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Um, and so I love to entertain. I love to decorate. Um, so I had a few family functions. I had a work function. Um, and then there's just working. And then of course I'm like, okay, I'm just tired. Um, even too tired to really journal the way I normally enjoyed doing. And so I feel like I did not get to utilize these pens as much as I would have liked. So these may not be in the focused um, pens that I have inked for next month, but I'm pretty sure at least one of two of these are going to carry. Well, we know about this one, um, but maybe one or two others may carry over into January along with a few others. So, yep, that's it. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments that you have below and talk to you soon. Bye.